Hello everyone, I'm Yang Hong from Shanghai Jiao Tong University. Today I will present our paper, Number Adaptive Prototype Learning for 3D Point Cloud Semantic Segmentation. A popular paradigm for 3D point cloud semantic segmentation follows the pointwise classification, where a neural network extracts pointwise features and feeds them into a classifier, predicting label for each point. Following the view of prototype learning, these models can be viewed as learning one prototype for each class and assigning points with the label of the nearest prototype. However, the common single prototype per class design limits the model's capacity in the classes with high interclass variance. To better handle the data variance, we can use more than one prototype for each class, so that points of the same class can be assigned to a class's different prototypes. Because we have no prior knowledge about how many prototypes each class needs, in this work, we propose to use an adaptive way to set the number of prototypes, and we call this paradigm as Number Adaptive Prototype Learning NAPL. Here, let me show our implementation of an APL model. For the input point cloud data, we use an encoder-decoder framework to extract pointwise features. And we leverage our transformer decoder to produce NQ prototypes from NQ learnable queries and encoded point features. A classifier is applied to predict the class label for each prototype. Finally, we assign each point to its nearest prototype and use the prototype's label as the point's label prediction. During training, we randomly drop out m prototypes in each step to enable our model producing adaptive number of prototypes for each class. Our method is evaluated on semantic kitty dataset. In the upper part of the table, we show that our model outperforms the existing 3D semantic segmentation models on test set. And in the lower part, we perform a class-by-class -class comparison of our method and the baseline pointwise classification model on the validation set. It shows that in most of the classes where instances have different patterns, our model have made significant improvements. We also conduct further ablation studies on the validation set which shows the effectiveness of both transformer decoder and the prototype dropout strategy. And the prototype number analysis proved our model have the ability to produce adaptive number of prototypes for each class. Thank you for your listening. For more details, please refer to our paper.